This is Channel 8 News Now, Weekend Edition. Good evening, thanks for joining us tonight. One of Las Vegas' oldest shopping center, known as a commercial center off Sahara near Maryland Parkway, it is thriving. All at a time when new shopping centers are pretty much empty. It's quite the opposite there, though. 8 News Now reporter Zahid Arab joins us now with more on the revitalization effort and how it's showing success. What's the secret for the shopping center? Well, you know, Chris, dating back to the 60s, the commercial center has always been prestigious. It was where Elvis Presley picked out jewelry, the place the Rat Pack was often spotted. But over the years, business owners say the center has battled controversy, becoming forgotten until just a few years ago. Down Sahara from the Strip, the commercial center has seen its evolution of change. After years of success, Business Association President Paula Sadler says it fell into ruin. Rundown cars, graffiti, garbage. The beauty salon owner couldn't help but want to make things beautiful again. It was a natural expression of my own personality just flowing out into the community. Sadler and a few select business owners had a huge hurdle in front of them. Their goal was to polish the area and present it back to the public. Cleaning up trash, uh, painting exterior and interior walls, removing graffiti, uh, having cars, abandoned cars towed away. Think of what brightens up the area. Howard Freeman's murals decrease graffiti 100%. Uh, electrical boxes, walls, uh, dumpsters have been uh, covered with graffiti, and uh, my painting these murals has decreased detracted to graffiti. They respect the artwork, I believe. We've um, put in a lot of money to, to revamp the whole inside, expand it, and just to, you know, attract more local customers. Las Palmas, along with other center businesses, have collectively pumped in a quarter of a million dollars in improvements. Along with more security, longtime customers notice the changes. Less people panhandling uh, than I, they did many years ago. I noticed it's cleaner, and I've noticed there's more movement. Since the changes started a few years ago, traffic has doubled to 10,000 customers per week. Now with new life, you could call Paula Sadler's strategy genius. Or people getting together doing the right thing. Since the cleanup started, about 20 new businesses have opened up in the center, bringing the vacancy rate down to nearly 15%, the best it's been in years. Chris, I've been there last